Right. Here I am at East Takeaway, the Ashen and the Lime. Chef kindly let me loose with the uh, pan and spoon, which is not necessarily a wise thing to do. Uh, he also said, uh, treat this like your own kitchen, which is another thing you might be wary of saying. But I'm going to cook a uh, chicken joffrezi um, using the yeast method. Uh, so we'll start off with some oil. Pan's nice and hot. Let that warm through for a second. I'm going to add some garlic paste. Yeah. I'm going to cook that off for a short while. Which will add some tomato puree. I've just added some um, watered down tomato puree there. And now I'm going to add the powder spices in here. So we've got about a teaspoon of tutori messi, about half a teaspoon of salt, about maybe a bit more, about a teaspoon and a half of mixed powder. About half a teaspoon of chili. You want to let that cook for I'm around 10 15 seconds and then we quench it with a bit of base gravy. Oh sorry, we forgot we got the onions. And uh, what, what stage did you add peppers? You got yes, add the, add the peppers now. Um, so this service onion has been added, and uh, we're going to add some just some peppers, which are pre-cooked. Turn, turn the heat up a little bit now. Put that on. Yeah. So we've got a nice full flame now. Some chilies. We can get a chili, a jar frozen without chilies. Cut in generous chunks. Uh, yep, some tomatoes. And to that, we're going to add some base gravy. I'm going to add that much. Yep, I'm add a bit of base gravy. Just going to put it in the lamb. It's been pre cooked. So that. And some coriander. I'm going to leave that for a minute. I'm going to add some more blaze gravy in a moment. So normally, uh, during normal service check, you're, you're cooking this for what? The total time to cook? What about four minutes? Five minutes. Five minutes. From start to finish. As you can see around the edges, but it's starting to stick and caramelise a bit, producing a fantastic flavour. Now Chef is going to add a bit more base gravy. I'm going to stir that round once. I'm going to leave it to do its stuff again for a uh, couple of minutes. Show you the flame again. Super hot for that. Really helps with the flavour and speed of cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Going to resist the urge to uh, stir it. Now let's have a bit of a, a look at it inside. See nice caramelised bits around the edges, which is great for flavour. 
Uh, my own personal preference, I'm just going to add a tiny bit more to the base gravy. Now, give it a stir now. On the sides, that lovely crusty stuff. Give it a stir in. And then another 30 seconds to a minute, I think we're done. Is there anything yeah. Yeah. Final touches, a bit of coriander to mix in. Very nearly there, just picking up just a little bit more. See, we've got these nice crusty bits on the side. Really important for flavour. So we'll just plate this up, put it in a container, and give it a little taste. So here we have the East Takeaway Lamb Gel Frazy. Cooked by myself, but it's the, the chef's own recipe. Let's try a little bit of this lamb. It looks very tender. And the sauce is nice and thick. There we go. It's great. Oh, mmm. What a great start to National Curry Week Monday. That's superb. Really kind of vibrant flavours because of the heat that's gone into it. I thoroughly recommend this dish on the menu if you uh, come to East Takeaway, it's great. Thank you very much.